Hi, welcome to this session on advanced feature of RQTA part 1. In this session, we will learn how to install RQTA along with important packages. Then we will learn how to search quotes from text files or interviews. Then we will learn how to export quotes in HTML format. Finally, we will learn how to plot quote categories. So let's first talk about the RQD installation along with important packages. And what are those packages? Those packages include DBI, then GWidgets, then GWidgets or GTK2, then RSQLite. And if you want that the RQD along with these four packages are installed simultaneously, then use this syntax. Install.packages into RQDA comma dependency is equal to four. So let me show you in R, uh, R Studio. But remember, if you remove this part, dependency is equal to two, then RQDA will be installed, but these packages will not be installed. But if you want that these packages are also installed, then you will have to include this part also in the command. So let's see it in. R studio. So this is R studio. So write this command. So install dot packages into R QD common dependency is equal to true and then run it. Once you run it, R QD will be installed and those four packages will also be installed. If you want to see whether those packages have been installed or not, so just come here and click packages and you will see here. So those packages which have been installed a sign of tick mark will appear just before them now coming to the uh, second part you need to update these packages on off and on basis and how to update these packages so you can use this syntax in, in R studio update dot packages into RQDA and R Studio here and run it. And, uh, and if you want to load RQDA, then this command is used library into RQDA. Now coming to the second feature. Second feature is searching codes from data files. And how to do it? In step number one, you need to open a data file or text file through RQD. Then right click on this space and you will see a window will pop up which will contain a lot of features and one of such features is search for a word and if you click it you will see a new window will pop up uh, typical like this one so part 3 typical like this one here you a word or phrase or term which you want to find out in the file and if you click search next so you will see so wherever it will be present so if you keep uh, searching next so you will see the color that term wherever it will be present it will turn into green so let me show you here in R. So you see here, so this is the RQD. So here is the list of files I have. And I just click one, so a new window. So our data file has appeared here. So this is my data file. And come here, so right click. So you see here, here one option is the search for a word. Just click it, so you see here, say, I want to find out the words accountability. Accountability. Just search next. So you will see. If you keep doing it, so you see wherever it will be present, so the, all those uh, words will start turning into gray colors. So this is this is the way. What you can do, you can find out that term or the word or phrase even in in the entire document
then is the uh, another feature is exporting codes. How to export codes in HTML public? You can select codes or, or you can select all codes or single code also. It depends. And how to do it? In step number one, what you need to do is you need to open the functionality of the codes. Then right click here in this space and you will see again a window will pop up which will contain several options and one of these options is export codings as HTML. If you just click it you will see uh, another window will open up and it will ask name. You want to give it to the file and then you can open it and find it. Let's see it in RPG. So here it is. The RPG. So let's count the code. So these are the codes. So you just right click. So here you see export codings as HTML. So let me give here you can the name is alpha. So it's present in let me put in laptop. So you see a list of all codes are appearing here in this window. So let me select all the codes by using the key Control A and click OK. Just after doing it, just straight away go to uh, desktop and find it here. Here it is. So you see this is the entire report for all codes. So if you click anyone, so you will keep moving into different part of the report. Finally, let's come to the final feature in this particular session that is plotting of the code categories and how to do it. Straight away come to the functionality of code categories, click it, then right click again so you will see another window will pop up. And here one option is to plot selected code categories and just click it and you will see this kind of the plot will emerge. So let's see in RQD. So here is the RQD and uh, here are the code categories and just right click. And you see here, so these, this is the list of options. One of this option is the plot select code categories. My selected code category is the accountability. So you see here, a uh, graph has up, appeared here. This is the main code, main category. So these are the codes associated with the destiny. You can change layout also, for example, or random, so it could be like this one. So you can also change it like in a circle and uh, on and on. So, this is the way you can use these advanced features in RQD. So, thanks for watching.